Okay, let's try this again. I um I tried recording this previously and well it didn't go well. It's just to say my rather shaky emotional state just got the better of me. And let's leave it at that. Uh, you know what they say. Writing is uh, occupation for people who want to tell you a story but don't want to look you in the eye while doing it. That's me. Anyway. I know I've said multiple times in the past that I would be doing everything I could to try and record um, videos more frequently, try to do more blog posts more frequently, and every week I say to myself, yeah, I really should, and every week goes by, and well, yeah. So... What I'm going to say now is that I am going to try over the every weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, I'm not going to put myself down to one day, but I will say sometime during the weekend, I will try and do at least one video. And I will try and also do uh, one regular uh, written out blog post, not just... Um, posting a picture of, uh, okay, here's what I'm working on right now. So, with that in mind, let's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me, let's move forward. Uh, one thing uh, to remind everybody of, uh, I don't uh, work off the script. This is completely off the top of my head. Uh, completely off the cuff, so if I, um, hang on a second here, that's better, I had my monitor on, um, so if I start rambling a bit and seem a bit disjointed, just remember I'm going off the top of my head here, um, so what do we want to talk about, uh, let's start at the beginning and I can hear the eye rolls now God he's going to talk about the books again yeah I'm going to talk about the books again I'm going to firstly though I'm going to talk about my fictional universe because it is the foundation to which everything um, everything comes off of it's the the world I built if you will now Ages ago, in 1977, when I started writing, I um, didn't care about the stories fitting together. I wrote a story, and where it, where it fit in relation to other stories didn't matter. I wrote a story. Then, as I grew up, I started thinking, well, you know, where does this story fit in terms of every of other stories? Because... Uh, for example, when Next Generation, Star Trek Next Generation rolled around, trying and uh, seeing where it was in relation to the original series and, and the original series movies and where does it fit and how does it all fit together. And then I started thinking, yeah, I should probably do that with my, uh, with my, uh, with my stories. So that's when I started uh, coalescing the first... Um, first threads that would become my fictional universe and over time it grew stories came stories went ideas came and went uh, there are some ideas that I still want to get back to but uh, it's pretty coherent now uh, it's a history that folk that stretches from 13.8 billion years plus one day in the past to right now about the year uh, 79, 69, 79, 70. Yeah, it's a work in progress, so I don't have the year locked down yet. So, yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of, uh, of history there. Excuse me. And um, 
All the stories do fit together. So if you have a character that's a, a guest star in one story, quote unquote, uh, they could very easily down the road have their own story. Uh, that happens, for example, in in On a Cold Wind. There is um, the story. The, the The novella is mostly about uh, Special Agent Carl and Adrastia Carly. Uh, but also um, Special Agents Harmony and Melody Moore and Special Agent Alexander Sinclair do also make appearances. Now, I just finished editing the most current version, and I swear, I swear, I swear to Cthulhu, the last version of Wanderer, which focuses on Alexandra, Alexa, but uh, also has uh, the twins, Harmony and Melody, and um, and Carly in it. And down the road, I have planned a story focusing on the twins that, that um, and uh, and Alexa will pass through. It's just a way of showing yes, these people all exist in the same world. They live. They, they're living the same lives. And um, to keep all this straight, I started putting together a timeline, firstly just for myself, but with the publication of On a Cold Wind, yes, I know it's backwards, um, I started include, I'll, I've started including a timeline. The, I started including the timeline, I should say, in the books. Uh, basically, so that as going going forward, a reader can see where this particular story fits in with all the others. Um, and as I said, it starts uh, 13.8 billion years plus one day in the past. And that is a story titled The End of Seconds. Mm -hmm. Now, the 13.8 billion years plus one day, minor spoiler here, uh, just refers to the fact that the story takes place one day before the pre end of the previous universe, the universe prior to this one. And I always describe the story as the death of one universe, the birth of the next, and addressing that annoying question, so where did God come from? Now, and on this timeline, there's no spoilers, there's just titles, titles and dates. And where if it's a, if it's a short if it's a shorter story included in one of the collections, it also um, mentions where to find it. Um, Thirteen point eight billion years plus one day ago is the end of seconds. It's in campfire stories. Uh, sometimes no. it's very rare that I have a story that I don't know when it takes place. Uh, Games of Life and Cold was originally going to be in an entirely different timeline then got dragged over into this one i knew it took place sometime in the past but i couldn't remember exactly when in the past that's why i just didn't i just say sometime in the past 2005 if you listen softly and with eyes open 2009 it's all my yesterdays remembered 2010 symmetry 2016 is upon a far distant shore. Uh, twenty one fourteen is signpost. Uh, twenty one eighty is on a cold wind. Chapter one only. It used to be the prologue. Then I just said let's just make it chapter one. Uh, twenty one eighty nine. No. Uh, last light and the rest of on a cold wind. 2190 is Wanderer, 2191 is Stranger and Raven. Now, interesting thing with those stories. I do indicate when things are coming soon, because at the time this was published, I thought I would be publishing them soon. Uh, and Raven and Strain Raven is edited and ready to go. I just have to get it submitted. Uh, Stranger, I just started the last edit on it, and I have to make a cover for it. So they, they both technically are coming soon. Wanderer, however, was almost 
right it was almost ready to go then doing the last doing an edit doing one final pass through it before what i thought what i thought was going to be one final pass um turned out to be uh not the final pass because i realized there was a plot hole in it the size of the death star yeah yeah that's fun so that required rewriting the entire 19,000 word story it's somewhere around 25,000 words now but it um so it's it will be coming just farther down the road uh, 2196 is The Shape of the Truth, 2199 is A Voice in the Darkness, 2200 is Ray, 2585 is The Fault Lies Not, 4495 is A Bright Symmetry, and in 7968 is Brianna and the Three. So that's where all the individual um, stories fit in with each other. Now, something else that I have to admit to here, there are spoilers throughout all these throughout all these books. If you read um, if you read Brianna and the three no not Brianna and the three. If you read um, with eyes open mm -hmm. a voice in the darkness, you're going to get a spoiler uh, about who about uh, Alexa's future, and also that that also comes up again in Ray. Now, Ray is a bit the reference in Ray is a bit more specific, so you might be able, you might know who it's referring to, but it could be someone with the same last name. Doesn't necessarily have to be Alexa. And the reason I do this, the reason I made the time, the the um, the timeline, the reason I started including it with the story, with the with the stories, um, is mostly for myself, just so I know where everything is in relation to everything else. Like for example, I know I have a relatively long stretch of time between signposts and on a cold wind. So I have plenty of time in there, for example, if I wanted to tell a story in that time frame. Uh, same thing in uh, The Shape of the Truth is 2196, then Ray is 2200. Then we jump way ahead to the late 26th century and then way farther ahead to the late 45th century. So I... I did a lot of that, so I know when I come when I'm coming up with a new story, coming up with a, a new uh, plot, or if I just want to start a new serial, if you will, uh, within my timeline, I know exactly what fits when and what is going on at the same time. Because what happens down the road is that humanity does split off. There are humans on Earth in the uh, Earth Alliance, which is Earth in its colonies, and a few allied races, then there is CONFED, which is essentially the Federation, if you will, that's looking over eh, about two-thirds of the galaxy. Uh, Earth technically, the Earth Alliance is technically allied with CONFED. Um, And we have a story that takes place in Confed at the same time a story is taking place in um, on Earth. Two different sets of characters, stories taking place at the same time, but they're not necessarily going to have any effect on each other. Whereas um, with... Uh, Raven and Stranger, for example, they take place just a few months apart. They both take place in 2191. Stranger takes place in April. Raven takes place in June. So 
sorry. And it's just a bookkeeping thing, if you will, just trying to keep everything um, straight and organized in my own mind. So, yeah, just a just a little. I'm thinking about keeping this uh, keeping this short. I just wanted to talk a bit about my fictional universe. Um, seeing as it's Friday right now, it's uh, just turned 10 p.m. Friday night uh, here on the East Coast. Uh, I might do a uh, a video uh, over the weekend uh, just to get myself back into uh, into the groove of doing uh, videos regularly I might not it depends on on how I feel uh, to, to be honest with you guys I do uh, although I've never been officially diagnosed I, I have a sneaking suspicion that I do suffer from from I do have uh, depression and anxiety um, and there are times when the only thing I want to do is just sit there and stare at the ceiling um, but, uh, the words save me. They always do. And that's why I say writing is the only thing I'm good at. Uh, it's the only thing I have never failed at. Well, if you want to, if you, uh, if you don't look at, um, my efforts to advertise the books, yeah, the books themselves are good. The advertising of them is not so much. So... Uh, I, again, I will try and, uh, do, uh, do something a bit more frequently, uh, probably going to go back to the beginning and look at each of the individual books again, um, something a little bit fresher, a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit more, um, at ease here in front of the, uh, in front of my phone. So it, uh, uh hopefully they'll go a little bit better. Uh, and I hope you're not paying attention to how many times I'm saying, um, <laughs> Uh, so, excuse me. So, yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, I'll put a link to, uh, my website down, uh, down at the bottom there. All the, um, all the links to the books are there on the books tab. Uh, I do ask, though, I, if you do, uh, if you do, uh, buy one of the books please when you're finished please put up a review on Smashwords, Goodreads, Amazon, wherever um, every little bit helps um, if you like the video please like the video please tell me um, tell me what you did, tell me what you thought of it um, you know or, you know you remind me that I do have a good face for, for radio <laughs> and um that's it. Hopefully I'll be talking to you uh, a bit more frequently. And uh, remember, we are each of us with our own stories and the villains of someone else's. Take care, guys.